everyone, it's the makeup and I welcome back to my channel. I will be doing a comparison video about this sponges from BYS. And if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts and initial verdict about this products, then keep on watching. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, I will be showing you guys or doing a small demo kung paano at anong difference between these two sponges from BYS. There you go. I know hindi na siya bago sa market. Most probably, meron na kayong idea ano ang benefits and cons itong product na to or products na to from BYS. But I just want to share with you guys ano ang aking thoughts and it's more of like a comparison between the two products. So, I know you guys have known this for a while. Ito yung BYS blending sponge na kinecater ng BYS. It's really almost the same as the uh, beauty blender. Ayan. Definitely much cheaper. This is only for 299 pesos. Available siya sa lahat ng BYS counters. Um, but for some reasons, when I went there last time, wala na daw nitong blending sponge nila. Parang discontinued na nila for some reason. Sabi nung sales lady sa akin. That's why they created this and cater this one instead. It's also a blending sponge or now they call it a cosmetic sponge. But this is a lot cheaper and different from this egg shape na blending sponge or tear shape rather. Now, this one is in a flat shape. Flat lang siya, ayan, manipis. And then, it caters for 149 pesos. Kalahati ng presyo nitong bigger sponge. So, of course, aside from the size and the shape, this one is a flat tear type or tear shape na, um, anong tawag dito, sponge. It seems to be the same material as to this blending sponge nila. Let me just take this off from the container. Ayan. So, ito. Although, this one is a lot darker. Mas darker yung shade nito compare dito sa flat cosmetic sponge nila. And, this one I've been using a lot. Actually, this is my second blending sponge sa kanila because I've used the other one so much that I ripped it off. Now, this one is also new. If you guys have seen my last haul, nakita nyo na to. So, I will be doing a demonstration on both of this product. Tingnan natin kung ano yung pas magandang gamitin. Okay, for starters, I feel na masiksik itong um, yung material niya. Masiksik, mas smooth ang surface nitong blending sponge na unang nilabas ng BYS as opposed dito sa um, cosmetic sponge nila na flat. I will show you guys in a closer look anong ibig ko sabihin. Okay, so ito yung egg shape and as you guys can see sobrang parang mas dikit-dikit or mas uh, compress yung materials na ginamit nitong or dito sa cosmetic sponge na to. Mas smooth ang surface niya as opposed as opposed dito sa flat cosmetic sponge na bago nilang nilabas. And as you can see, yung material niya almost the same, although mas parang sabog yung materials or material na ginamit nila dito. Makikita mo yung mga siwang in between ng sponge as opposed dito sa kabila na smooth ang surface niya. So, yun ang physical appearance niya. Aside from the shape, of course, ito flat. This one is major round and definitely masay, uh, masay na kamukha niya ang, ang beauty blender. So, this is really a good dupe and a cheaper one. If you are planning to buy yung beauty blender, this one is a really good alternative. This blending sponge is expanding kapag nabasa. This is how big it is. So, makikita nyo, ito, ito lang siya. So, cutting natin from my fingers or from my palm. Ganito lang kalaki ang kanyang um, size kapag hindi pa siya nadadamp. And this one is a bit taller and bigger, obviously. Ayan. Now, I will go ahead and damp 
both of these and I'll show you guys how it looks like. Okay, so this one is already damp. Ayan. Pero hindi nagbago ang kanyang size and shape. Now, this one is the tear duct or yung blending sponge. And definitely, mas malaki na siya as opposed ka na. And halos kasing laki niya na ang uh, cosmetic sponge. If not bigger, halos kasing laki niya na when it comes to the height. So those are the physical appearance and difference between the two. Now let's go ahead and start applying your foundation, both using these sponges. So ang gagawin ko, this side, the right side, I will use the blending sponge. And the other side, we will be using this cosmetic sponge. yung foundation using both of the sponges and a few things na napansin ko upon application. Let's start with the cosmetic sponge which is yung flat. I feel na yung application ko using this sponge is more time consuming just because I feel na mas nakoconcentrate ko yung product if ipipress ko siya in between ng ganito and mas nakakapasok siya in between the crevices of my uh, face like dito sa nose area, on the inner corners of my eyes. Mas napapasok niya if i-press mo siya ng ganun as opposed to a-apply mo lang siya ng flat na ganyan. Okay? Ngayon, uh, since medyo parang sabog yung application niya, hindi siya kasing smooth nang inaasahan ko. Although maganda pa rin yung finish niya, yes, you just need to make sure na you blend it really well using the sponge. Now, when using this blending sponge naman, mas mabilis yung application niya. Um, just because maganda yung grip ko dun sa sponge, as opposed dun sa flat na I have to press it in between bago ko ma-apply ng maganda yung foundation towards my skin. Alright, so natapos ko na yung aking foundation and yung aking makeup routine for today except for my lips. Um, but I just want to make this video really quick. Between the two, ano yung mas pipiliin ko? Definitely ito sponge or blending sponge rather over this cosmetic sponge. Number one, although yes, pricey siya, um, but it's good enough for me to say na ang ganda ng finish niya. Tapos, you get to use the entire surface nung, nung pinaka blending sponge as opposed to dito sa flat type. Hindi mo masyado magagamit itong thin area na to. I'm not sure, although hindi ko talaga maisip kung paano ko gagamitin yung pinaka side part nung, nung flat ano ba to? Sponge. Definitely this one, kahit saan ka tumingin, magagamit mo siya. Even the tip and the bottom part, magagamit mo yung sponge. And that's really a good thing kasi you don't need to change tools every now and then. You can use this to blend your concealer, your foundation, your blush, even apply powder using this. This is really a good product and I like it. And I highly recommend you guys try this out. It is indeed a good group for um, yung beauty blender it looks the same and it has the same color i guess the original na beauty blender and it's much cheaper so i definitely recommend you guys try this out lalo na yung mga makeup enthusiast na gusto lang mag try go ahead and use this if you have the budget go ahead and of course try beauty blender but if you're just wanting to use something like that then go ahead and try this out so that's it for this really quick video. I hope you guys find this useful. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the information box or in the comment section below. I will put all the information that I know about this product in the info section, so check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!